I'm not to drive it. I'm not to drive it this crazy. Te presumo porque eres para mí un gran tesoro y no me vuelves a proclamarlo. Te presumo porque has sido para siempre. What up, Cas? David, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just came from the store to buy. I went to go buy Gavita uh, uh, an orange gel because his tooth is hurting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Muela, muela. You know, he's coming with us right now. He's going to the dentist tomorrow, he said. Yeah, he, he wants yeah, to see yeah. how much they charge him because he wants to take it out. Yeah, I called him. They said they were going to charge him about 200, 250. He said that was cool. Yeah, so. I just came to the store to buy some medicine, too. You want to come What you going to do right now? Get ready. Let me just dress up real fast. All right, we wait for you right here. Right. That's a boy David right there. He just came to the church not too long ago. Uh, now we gotta he just came to the church not too long ago. Man, he was open. He got converted. He gave his life to Christ. The first night, you know, we always, we always, we always pray for radical conversions because they can happen. You know, we have a lot of a lot of people in our church, different backgrounds, different type of, you know, personalities, different type of stories. I mean, completely different. And and. and and there's radical conversion among all types, you know. It's not always the, it's not always the nice guy that gets converted, and it's not always that ex-convict or the ex-drug addict that gets convicted. It's it's, it, it goes for everybody. And there's another brother right there, Gustavo. Gustavo. Look at him. Look at him. He's more like hurts. So he's going to the dentist tomorrow. But yeah, that was David. He got converted. He got saved. He gave life to Christ. Hey, wait for your brother he now. liked the church. He wants to keep coming out to the church. And we just happened to see him right now going to his apartment. So mm -hmm. we invited him to come chill with us. He said, yeah, he's going to go change. Um, so yeah. Y'all never stop witnessing. Never stop telling people about Jesus. No matter where you are, no matter where you go. You're gonna find that, you know, people are not as closed as you think, you know, people are open. They wanna know God, they wanna know, they, they wanna know answers, they have questions and you might just have the answer. The answer is always in Jesus Christ. So y'all better understand that. It's really key for life, cuz. To be filled with the Holy Ghost, you can have boldness to tell people about Jesus. I wanna buy you one. Man. You ready to go start That we don't be scared. You ready? We'll do it again. How's your muela, bro? Hurts, huh? Hurts big time. Oh, no. Tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to go to the dentist. Man, what time? I can't go early. I could go at uh, the four, bro. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Pero hay pedazos todavía ahí, ¿no? Sí, man. 